Hi there, boys and girls. My name is Miss Lisa. You have joined me today at the Fayette County Public Library for the Crafty Corner. Now, last week when you were here, we made this beautiful yarn wrap snowman. And I'll tell you, we still have lots of packets here. Come and get this one because we have packets for you to be able to make it. Today, we are going to do another snowman craft. We are going to do a snowman on skis. I don't know if any of you have ever been able to go skiing, but this little snowman, he sure enjoys being on his skis. We have little packets for you because it doesn't take a lot of supplies to make this craft. Come and get both of these crafts and maybe by you making these little snowman crafts, it will bring the snow. Do you think? I miss the snow. It's the middle of January and we don't have snow yet. I want the snow to come. So let's go make our little snowman on skis. And so what you need for this are two of the big craft sticks. Now I've already painted them for you blue. If you don't like it, turn it over, paint the other side, pick whatever color you want. But I've painted them blue for you already. You also need a tube, which is a toilet paper tube, and I have painted it white for you already. If you would prefer your snowman to be another color, which I don't know why you would, you could paint it a different color. But anyway, so you need a white tube. You need some orange construction paper for the snowman's nose. You need some pom-poms for his ear muffs, and then a matching color to the pom-poms for the connecting piece that connects the ear muffs to both sides of his ears, okay? All right, so here's what we need to do. So we have our little snowman, and um, the first thing that we need to do is, you know, get his little face ready. So I guess you probably do need a, a magic marker, a permanent one is the best. And we're just going to go ahead and draw two, I'm gonna make ovals. I'm gonna put the little black here inside and leave a little white. Okay, to make his eyes. And for his mouth, you know, we usually use little black stones or something for his mouth. So I'm just going to sort of make his little mouth curve up. Try to make it match a little bit. But if not, it's okay. He can be a little wonky. Okay, now he's missing his nose. So we're going to take our scissors and our orange paper and we're going to make a little carrot. So it just needs to sort of be rounded on one end and come to a point. So you're going to sort of round one side and come up to a point. That's pretty good. You need a little drop of glue. Whether you use glue stick or white glue, it really won't matter. And just put a little dot on there. Let's see if I can even pick it up here. And then whatever direction you want his nose to go, just stick it right on. Now, the only thing we have to do now is work on his ear muffs to keep him with the little ears warm and we have chosen some red pom-poms for this particular snowman and we have some paper here now we don't need the band to go across to be this wide so we're going to cut it in half okay and then we are going to glue it up here so to make sure that we glue the, um, the top edges of your paper and then we're going to slide it inside there. So you don't need a lot of glue because if you put too much glue, that glue is just going to drip down on the inside of your tube. So we're just going to have one. Now you're going to have to look at your snowman to make sure it's pretty even. So you don't want the, um, the earmuffs to go on a place that wouldn't really where his ears would be. So is that about right? Yep, yeah, that looks about right. Maybe up a little forwarder. So there we have the band. Now for the earmuffs, we're going to need to put a pretty good drop of glue. And then we're going to have to press it for a little bit. Okay, so stick your hand inside that tube and press down. Maybe count to five or ten. Get it to hold there. Okay, I'm going to turn him over. And put the glue right here on this part. And... Pick up the little pom-pom, stick it on, give it a press, okay? Now the last step is to glue your snowman to your skis. Now you can decide if he's going straight forward or if he's, you know, coming to a point somehow. You can decide how you want your skis. We'll just make him go straight forward with this one. Now you don't want him up here in the front. And that's not the way you ski, okay? In the middle, again, that's not the best way. When you ski, your body is more at the back of the skis, okay? And so you're going to try to decide where he is, and then you're going to put quite a bit of glue on those skis. 
okay, so where that tube is going to lay. Now, the important part is that once you have laid him in the glue, that you wait about an hour before you pick it up. Okay, you're going to want to press it down and then just walk away from your craft. Okay, boys and girls, just walk away from it and wait about an hour before you come back and pick him up. Because if you pick him up now, he's heavier than the sticks and he's just going to come right off. So hold him down, but eventually you'll be able to pick him up and you can play like he's skiing down a mountain slope. All right, so today we have made a skiing snowman. Please come in and see us. We miss you guys. We have all these craft packets for you to pick up. Please come get one and make one at home. And if you do, post a picture so we can see it because I'm sure yours would be just as cute, if not cuter than mine. All right, boys and girls, come back again next Wednesday at 2 o'clock for another craft here at the Crafty Corner. Bye now. Oh, oh.